Hey everybody, I'm Stu Carter from Atomai TV and Bentintoys.net. And recently I returned from a hunting expedition, a toy hunt, deep in the remote regions of this island which I live on in the South Pacific. And I was I had some success. I was able to locate some rare, hard to find toys, and I brought them back. Look, see, I've got this big duffel bag. See how big it's too big for the camera. I've got this big duffel bag. I carry around it's a good thing because sometimes I find so many toys I need this big bag to carry them in and so oops I just <laughs> I hope I didn't break something uh so I'm going to show you my toy haul from this trip I made so let's have a look okay so first I found this nifty YouTube coffee cup or tea cup or milk mug I found this in the mall down there, and I said, I have to have this because of something else. So I, I, I bought this, but it goes with something else. It goes with something. I don't think I've showed you this yet. I feel embarrassed I haven't mentioned it. YouTube sent me this. What's in this black box? Let's open this up. There's some uh, protective padding because it's something very valuable, very much a treasure. It's, it's an award for 100,000 subscribers. And I want to thank you so much. I haven't done a proper thank you message. I hope I will. I hope I can. This is the get you over until then. Thank you guys so much. It's a gold, I guess it's supposed to be a gold play button. Is it real gold? I don't know. If I ever get like really down and out, maybe I'll try this. No, I'll never sell it. I'll put this up on my wall. Yeah, uh -huh. congratulations for surpassing, surpassing. Because I'm already up to 110 or 113,000 now. 100,000 subscribers. Wow. Thank you so much, guys. Couldn't have done it without you because I could only subscribe to myself one, one time. <laughs> let's, let's see what else we've got. And I'll tell you ahead of time, most of what I'm looking for is Ben 10 stuff. Uh, so I know not everybody likes to see me talk about Ben 10 forever. So... I did find something that was not Ben 10 that I've been looking for. Let's get that out of the way now, okay? So, and so then if you don't want to see the Ben 10, I don't know why, but if you don't want to see the Ben 10 stuff, you can tune out after I show you this. You want to, you want to see this. If you like Beyblades, you want to see this stuff. Let's have a look. Yes, it's Battle Strikers. Battle Strikers by Mega Blocks. Some of you guys probably never even knew they made this toy, Battle Strikers. Uh, yeah. They were uh, a contemporary. They came out about the time that the new, the Metal Masters Beyblades came out. And uh, they were different. They're different. They, they go faster. And the problem is, I found these three, right? The problem is these go faster than Beyblades because they require a launcher with about six batteries in it to spin it up. There's no launcher in the store, just these Beyblades. So I still can't do a proper test of Battle Strikers versus Beyblades because I don't have the launcher. Oh, but I've got these. So if I ever find a launcher, we'll do that. I promise. <laughs> right. So here's the deal with Ben 10 in South Asia, Southeast Asia, where I'm hiding. Uh, ben 10 was big. It remains big. And the stores there bought tons of Ben 10 product. Some of it bootleg, a lot of it authentic as well. And it remains in the store because of the nature of the stores here. They're not like back in, in North America, Toys R Us and, and Target. Those stores, they clear the stuff out. When Ben 10 was canceled, pff, that stuff was out of here, right? They liquidated it. So that means you could find some of the old Ben 10 product if you go to liquidators. So like uh, Dollar General stores, you know, stores like that. Because that, if you've been in there, that's all they have. Or you could go to uh, outlet malls. Or antique malls, I think, no, because they don't always just sell antiques. Sometimes they just sell toys that people bring in and they just put them there. So that's places you can look for these. In Asia, a lot of these older stores, they don't like to clear the stuff out. And I'll tell you, I'll, I'll give a plug for one of these guys. Gaisano, Gaisano Mall in the Visayans. That's these islands in South Philippines. They're like that. They don't like... They don't like to move the product out. They like to leave it there on the shelf. And as long as something sells, I guess they're doing okay. So I got a ton of this stuff. I even There's so much available, I couldn't buy it all. I had to leave some stuff on the shelf. I'll have to go back. 
Let's take a closer look at what I brought. Okay, so one of the bigger items here, this Legacy Omnitrix. So you might notice the package is even yellowed. It's so old, it's been exposed to the sun probably. But it looks like the toys are okay. And I got this because it looks a lot like this other toy I've had here called the Hero Time Omnitrix, right? See? It looks like the same deal. Is it the same? Are we, we're going to have to compare and contrast to see if there's a difference between the Legacy Omnitrix and the Hero Time Omnitrix, which was also sold in uh, Southeast Asia. So I, I, got the, I got one of those. These were all on sale. I didn't spend a whole lot. A little bit, though. Something good to compare. This is uh, Ultimate Echo Echo Sonic Arm. See, so it shoots these discs. Uh, you're supposed to be like Echo Echo and, and shoot your Sonic Arm, Sonic disc out. Uh, when they put these, this with Ultimate Alien, when this was released, there was about two uh, or three other similar. I, I think there was a Humongous War something, and there's something else. There are about three different aliens that shot something. This would be nice to compare because there's a new uh, role play toy that's kind of similar that's coming out from Playmates Toys. And so I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, so we'll, we'll talk about that. Another big item, uh, Kevin, you know, there was, uh, I think, two or three versions of Kevin's Cruiser and Ben's Mark 10. This is one of the smaller ones that we got. Yeah, this is a little strange. There's a lot of different things sold in Southeast Asia that you probably never saw in North America. This would be, this was, this is authentic. It's beat up. It's really old. Although it's from Alien Force, so yeah, it's old. Battle Blades. <laughs> it's got like a Beyblade little arena here and some kind of blades, some kind of spinning tops with, with bin tin on them in the front here, see? Uh, but yeah, it's authentic. It's got the Cartoon Network logo. It looks authentic to me, I'm guessing, <laughs> maybe. I think it is. It says Cartoon Network. Usually the, usually the bogus guys don't even put that on there. They don't want to try. Uh, big figures. I got a big figure for uh, Amphibian. But you know what? I really, I don't, Amphibian's not in, is he? No, Amphibian's not, at least not yet, in the new reboot series. What I really should be doing is making sure I have, in the reboot series, all the aliens that are in, Make sure I have older versions also so I can compare it to the new toys when they come out. But don't you think that's a good idea? I, th I think so. So I'm going to try to collect those. Make sure I've got them. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen the plumber ray gun. It's been around a while. And it combines with this other thing called the uh, uh, Benton Tech Blaster. And I've got to go back and get that. I couldn't. I didn't get it. It was too expensive. I, I didn't want to spend all the money. Mm, yeah, but just to, just to have everything I could possibly get, that's why I got it. How about a really cheesy Ben 10 mask? Yeah, this is authentic. I don't think you guys ever saw one of these, unless you lived in one of these countries. Here's a, here's a little tag. It says all the country flags that it's sent to. It's mostly Europe, not North America. Interesting, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know when I'll use that. Ultimate Chess Badge. Yeah, I did a, a review, a rather popular review on this, where I tested it. We had some problems, but I did test it. But I had a feeling the, the one I had before is in storage, right? I had a feeling I might need a new one. So I, when I saw this on the shelf, I picked one up. Omnitrixes, you always got to have your Omnitrixes. I'm making sure I've got all the ones I can get. This is the Revolution Ultimatrix, right? Uh, and... Um, We'll have to check out. You guys may have forgotten how it works. May have never seen one. So that's why I have it. So we can do, someday maybe I can do a review, uh, com compare all the Omnitrixes ever made in the history of the world. Yeah, that would be cool. And, and, and one more, I got uh, the Ultimate Ultimatrix, which is pretty nice. And this is the one I believe that has Asmus signature on it somewhere in here. You have to look carefully. I remember the guy, David, telling me that in, at Bandai. These are all Bandai toys, these big ones. Yeah. And, but that's not all. Yeah, I told you there was stuff I, I couldn't bring back. I didn't have room or, or cash. Uh, here's some snapshots of ones that I had to, uh, I had to pass on. Uh, Micro Soldiers, Aircraft Carrier, and Submarine. See, because uh, I need to defend my top secret toy lab, and I really need the best weapons available. I really think I should have an Aircraft Carrier and a submarine fleet, even, to protect, you know, to protect the lab so we don't get attacked. 
Uh, back to Big Ten, there's, there were Wrath, big figures. Look how many are on the shelf there. Tons, tons of them. The, uh, the block figures the, and two packs of the buildable figures. I know they weren't really called buildable figures. What, what, did, what did they used to call those? And we use the, the, the machine to put them, you know. All right. the, the, there's that tech blaster, the big thing. I need to go back and get that. Azmuth from Destroy All Aliens, the CGI movie. Kind of a collectible, I think, yeah. Energy figure, water hazard figure. Now, see, now water hazard is in the new show. Uh, so I should go back and get a water hazard, I think, and make sure I have one. Uh, ben 10 skates. You got to have your Ben 10 skates, right? I, I just don't think they will fit my feet. I don't know. Ben 10 backpacks. That stuff is still really popular in the Philippines. Uh, the backpacks, all those kind of school supplies. And look how nice the display in the store is. That's like a permanent display. They, they built the big Omnitrix thing, and they got it all set up. It's huge. It's big. The only thing as big as that uh, over here now is like uh, Marvel. Yeah, Avengers and stuff like that, and Barbie. That's just as big as, as Ben 10. See, so that's how big Ben 10 is. Wow, yeah. So stay tuned. Keep watching. I'm going to do my best to show Give a Ben 10 report every week. And until next time, have a great day.